John, when when you when you saw the film and you you see how, how the work that Chris is doing and the others are doing to in in their in different parts of 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 the continent, I, what do you take away from that? Are there are there in South Africa, it's become a marketplace, a commodity to some extent? Don't forget that we understand Africa probably better than Western people do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you cannot portray Africa in a few hours of movie. But what, what they portrayed, they portrayed accurately. And uh, anti-poaching is a huge part of Africa, as poaching is a huge, huge part of Africa. Um, and then you could go further to the corruption in Africa, which is a serious, serious problem for the survival of our wildlife in Africa. And there is no doubt about it. Ownership is one of the ways to combat that uh, corruption and the poaching. And it is a fact that where private ownership has been allowed in Africa, the animals have survived better. Never mind whether you are uh, uh, making them pay their way by meat or trophies or uh, selling them to other people, in other words, not killing any. Uh, that sustainable utilization is absolutely necessary in Africa. Otherwise, Africa will just eat it, all of it. Uh, I just want to add to that. I think that something that me and Christina understood as we started making the film is how much we didn't understand. And it was in many ways, but it was truly in the way of this of what these guys being from there understand and it was in places like we filmed the elephant being hunted and we were heartbroken and angry and torn and then a whole village came and it really just wanted it to be bigger but it was really ecstatic about it and it was challenging it was hard and from afar it didn't make sense but when you think about it a lot of these things are not that complicated because we we use after this movie the word complicated a lot but it really isn't that complicated that we sit and we say, let's save a majestic lion. But if we had a lion running around LA, we'd be scared for our children, just like Chris's people. And it makes John laugh because it's kind of obvious, but it wasn't obvious to me till I was there. And so I think the West, and it's true for this subject, it's true for other, it intends well, we mean well, we want to help, but we can't help without understanding the local perspective. And if we want people to care about animals and protect them, whether in these worlds or others, we have to give them a real incentive. It's not enough to say, wow, this is a majestic lion, let's save it. It's, it's, that's a really like, that is actually simple to me at least at this point, which mm -hmm. it wasn't when I came into this.